بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay now in this section we'll try to understand the controller based sdn architecture concepts okay so in the previous section if you remember we have discussed about the sdn controller uh, options how it is going to separate the control plane and the data plane so probably in this section we will we'll try to understand the architecture and some terminologies relating to underlay network and the overlay network so we'll try to see the difference between the underlay network and the overlay and the fabric so sdn fabrics we call them as uh, these are the concepts comes under sdn architectural architectures so so most of the sdn networks as we already discussed they are completely based on underlay and the overlay so okay so if you want to achieve a separate control plane and the data plane like we have seen in the traditional networks we used to have a same devices so all the networking devices will actually do forwarding that is your data plane as well as they make the decisions or build the routing tables or build the database now with the help of sdn what we are doing is we are going to separate the control plane and most likely the control plane task will be present on your sdn controller and whereas your networking devices will be doing the job of a data plane okay so so we have seen this concept earlier so here we'll see the underlay and the overlay so in in short to describe the underlay networks now the underlay is the actual network which is being built uh, which is being built and we will be providing something called ip reachability like end to end let's say i have a server here or a computer here trying to access another end so we do have end to end reachability so when you are building a network with a complete ip reachability we call this as an underlay network and the overlay network is actually the on the top of the underlay it is a kind of a virtual network which is built on the top of your underlay infrastructure okay sdn fabric is actually the devices which are used uh in this architecture so let's try to get into more details here like first we'll talk about underlay networks so the first thing we need to understand uh, underlay networks relates to whatever the protocols and the features we are going to use to provide end to end ip reachability between the two end points like if we take an example i got a specific computer here or a server here and i have another server here so we need to make sure that these two devices or any two devices in your network should have reachability so that is your main uh, thing what you are going to do so the underlay provides end to end reachability between your devices now to provide this end to end reachability what we are going to do in general the first thing will be connecting so we'll be doing some kind of connectivity like using some kind of nsc cards or the physical links which are going to connect between the router switches whatever the devices we use in between we are going to provide the connectivity and simply providing the connectivity is not sufficient you need to make sure that we do have some kind of routing protocols like ip routing protocols which are which which must be running any protocol like ehrp osp or static routing whatever it is so that must be running on those devices so once you do this once you do these two things now we do have an ip reachability between the two endpoints now if i generate a ping request from here so i should be able to uh, ping or reach any other device within your network so that is that is what the basic setup so protocols or the features which are used to provide end to end ip reachability that's the main thing now the next thing is like all the links typically will be configured as a layer 3 a point to point links now what this means is so normally we do connectivity between switch to switch or uh, maybe switch to computer and then switch to router so in in general whatever the things what we learn in our normal networks so the links connecting between the routers will be l3 where we are going to assign an ip address on both the ends and also will assign ip here of course but the links which are connecting between switch to switch typically will be l2 links 
generally trunk links or access links, the L2 links where you have an STP running uh, between the switches and this STP will be deciding which port will be forwarding the traffic in general. So there is a separation of L2 and the L3 links in general. But whereas when you talk about the underlay network which we are going to use in our SDN architecture, probably here all the links will be configured as L3 links. So which means the links which are connecting between this, this will be L3 and the links connecting between router to switch will be L3 and of course the links connecting between the router to router also will be L3. So, so typically that's the difference you need to understand uh, when it comes to SDN networks. So this is actually a recommended design to have all the L3 links in your campus design. Of course L2 also works but it is not recommended. So this is a typical designing consideration you need to understand while we are setting up an underlay network in your SDN. Now one more thing, once we set up the links, like we discussed that all the links will be L3. Now even the link here will be L3 here, switch to switch as well. Now just simply connecting the links as an L3 that is not sufficient. So we need to make sure that we run some kind of routing protocol so that we do have a reachability between this point and this point. So we have two devices or any two devices in your network must have reachability between them. And that is only possible when you configure some kind of routing protocol. So most commonly routing protocols like OSPF or ISS are used, which are commonly used, we can say. Of course, they support standard and, and supported by all the vendors. But you can still go ahead and use EHRP or BGP, any other routing protocol. Uh, it's up to you as long as it supports. Okay, so so this is something you know. You know this is not something new normally, because this is something what we have been doing for many years. The only th difference we need to know is all the links will be L3 instead of L2 links here. 